you like share and subscribe you guys today I am doing a meal it's a chicken alfredo chicken and sausage alfredo pasta this meal was created by Danielle with days of Danny right is it days of Danny yeah days of Danny so shout out to Danielle thank you so much for writing me and letting me know this will be an awesome meal to try y'all this is going to be very very quick very very simple I looked at her video a couple of times to make sure that I had all the ingredients that's needed for this meal I'm excited I'm excited y'all I'm so hungry too y'all I ain't ate nothing what time is it it's probably about uh what Almost three o'clock, y'all, and I need to eat something because I'm hungry today. My husband is in the background messing with a ladder, so y'all may hear some noise here and there, but I'm trying to make this um, heat up. So, what you need for this meal, I'm going to let this kind of heat up a little bit. So, you need some, it's very simple too, y'all. Onions, you want you some olive oil, just a little bit. I'm just going to actually put some in here to start to saute some of my stuff. Ooh. That's probably a little bit too much, but okay, whatever. Y'all, do what y'all want to do as far as the, the measurement. So, you're going to need some onions. Some, um, this is our chopped onions right here that I got from my local store. Artichokes, marinated artichokes. These are uh, optional. She put artichokes in her. She says optional, but I want to try it the way she tried it. So, I did it that way. Um, I have sugar. I'm going to put a tablespoon of sugar into mine. It is optional. I have a variety of seasonings. You guys use the seasonings that you want to use. Um, or yours. Wait, I'm missing the seasoning. Where am I? See, my son be using my stuff. I think my accent is gone. I had it right here in this lineup, and it's gone. Anyways, we have, I have two of, well, three of these. Four cheese Alfredo sauces. So you want that. And I also found me a cheese. I didn't think I was gonna have enough, the classic ragu, um, classic Alfredo. So we have that going. You also need um, some echo sausage, smoked echo sausage. I have already pre-cut this. I started it, but I stopped it because I had something to do. I had a meeting to go to, y'all, a couple of meetings today. And then I have uh, chopped garlic right here. So you got garlic and then um, the recipe calls for chicken. So here is my chicken. I cut it up. What I did is I fried me some chicken breasts. I um, uh, seasoned them and fried them and then I cut them up, you know, on the plate. But she used chicken meatballs. You can use that as well. And she used sausages like I did. And, and I think diced tomatoes, that's it. So y'all, this is literally a one, easy one pot, one pot. Thing. Did you find it? Nope. Did I put that in there? I don't know what happened, y'all, to my accent. That's crazy. Anyways, so start off by putting in it, adding in my um, onions. The one you, you looked at the bottom too? Y'all, this should be fun. I love, and then, oh, of course, y'all, you gotta have the noodles. Oh, and broccoli, look at me. So you have to have uh, frozen broccoli as well. I just have it in my sink right here. So they won't, it calls for frozen broccoli. This is what I use. I'm using a fettuccine. That's the new one. That's the old one. Fettuccine, y'all. This is what I'm using. Um, Nicole must put it right there. I promise you I had it right here. Anyway, fettuccine. Now, you can use whatever noodle you want. You can use rotini. What's it, what's it called? Is it called? Huh? Rigatoni. Rigatoni? Yeah. I don't know what that is. Anyways, y'all know them, them spiral type of noodles? That's what she used. So, I'm sauteing my onions, y'all. 
Y'all probably can't see a lot in this box. And excuse the noise. I'm trying to push this up some so y'all can at least see something of the inside of this. Y'all ain't gonna see a lot, but. So I'm sauteing the uh, onions. Y'all, it should smell good. What I'm gonna do is kind of season my sauce as I go. So I also have chopped up garlic. Now you can use minced garlic. I'm gonna tell y'all, there's easy ways, simple ways of doing this meal where you don't have to do all the other extra stuff. So I use chopped up uh, cloves of garlic, but you can definitely use minced garlic because all you gotta do is throw it in there like that. I also use Equus Sausage uh, from Hillshire Farm. So you can get that too. You wanna put all of this in the uh, one pot, but I think this is gonna be very flavorful because you wanna get all of that Sausage, you know the sausage uh, have a lot of flavor. Them smoked sausages. Um, you can use smoked sausage or you can use the hot kind. I use smoked. I didn't get the hot kind because they didn't have it, of course. So, couldn't get it. So you adding all this. And you know the sausage is gonna add a little, um, I like my sausage to be a little burnt. That's why I kind of cooked them way before, but it's gonna have a little char, you know, not burnt burnt, but you know. It's gotta be a little fried meat, fried. While it's doing that, y'all, I'm gonna try to uh, put my water on too. So if you have, you put in this meal, put your water on. So I got four quarts of water right there that's going to be um, cooking. So we're done with that. Also, y'all, I'm going to add my chicken. So I had three chicken breasts that I brought. So I brought me some skinless chicken breasts and I bought these and um, I cooked them in olive oil. I fried them because I think frying them will make them more better for me. I like it that way. And I put a lot, I put some seasons on the chicken breast. So I'm gonna add that to this. I am not getting rid of this. Anyways, I'm gonna add that to that mixture. So we're gonna saute this all together. All together, any kind of weather. So that's what we're gonna do. And you know what, you guys? You do not have to use chicken breast. The easiest thing you can do, I tell you, is to buy one of those rotisserie chickens. Buy one of those rotisserie chickens and take the breast of that rotisserie chicken and kind of shred it. And it will shred, it's gonna take a little minute, just sit down, watch your favorite uh, movie, YouTube, well, not movie, cause that'd be too long, but anyways, something like a 15 minute, 20 minutes, give your time, your mind, your, um, yourself occupied but then shred the chicken from the, um, the rotisserie. You, I know y'all know what I'm talking about. So, and it's easy. And it's $5, y'all. It's cheap, too. It's very simple, easy. Look at that, y'all. So you, you have a mixture of this. And it's really, a, a lot of people make this meal. I was surprised to see a lot of, because when I looked it up, I was like, oh, okay. It's a lot of people that do this easy one pot. Um, meal and it's I think it's very it's fulfilling too as well because it's a lot of sauce and everything and you can add garlic bread with it or maybe you want biscuits or whatever you want to use and I think it's a very flavorful meal. Um, Days of Danny says she uh, her kids well it says Danielle I think her name is Danielle her name is Danielle. She said her kids love it. And even when she was in the video, she said her child was sitting there, mom, is the, is the food ready yet? Is it ready yet? So just the fact that kids love this meal is a, is a plus, you know? I don't think you can go wrong with this meal. And I have never tasted chicken Alfredo with chicken and sausages, so that's gonna add a little flavor. You know sausages get a lot of flavor. So I'm excited to try this. So y'all see I'm sauteing that. 
I can't wait to eat it. Cause I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I, I, I'm hungry. What else I do? Okay, so then, what did she add first? I'm gonna add the tomatoes first, y'all, because I want some of that juice to cook down. So, she said get Hunt's diced tomatoes, a can of Hunt's diced tomatoes. So, she first she didn't add the whole can, but then she added the whole can. She was debating on if she could um, add it or not. I think that's what she did, but I'm adding my whole can to mine. So, get them flavors in there. And I'm gonna put a, a, a tablespoon of sugar in mine as well because that's what I do. Now, this is optional for that because she didn't do this. This is so optional, y'all, so I'm just letting y'all know. That's good for me, one tablespoon. Actually, I'm gonna add, while I'm here, I just thought about it. I'm gonna add a cup of, of this, um, I will And let me tell y'all why I do that. I do that with my pastas because it makes the pastas very, uh, that, you know, loose, like, so it won't be able to, they won't stick together. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I do that. I don't like to put salt in my water, even though people say put salt in to make it boil faster, but it tends to make my stuff real salty to me. I don't like it. Y'all for real, y'all, for real, for real, it makes it salty. I know y'all, some of y'all know what I'm talking about. So my mixture is coming along good. And you just don't be afraid to let it um, saute itself. I think that once you put the sauce in it, it's going to really uh, boil some more, cook more, cook more y'all, as you go. This, this is a very simple meal y'all. So like I said, if you got you some uh, a, a rotisserie chicken, and you know sometimes we can't eat all of that chicken, so the parts of the chicken that you don't eat, or you said, okay, I can't finish this all of this, put it in a pot, put some uh, sausages in that pot, and this is a very cheap, uh, affordable meal too. You can put your diced tomatoes in here, add your broccoli and some cheese sauce, y'all. That and then you got you some and boil you some noodles and put that on on, on top of that um, the noodles. Voila. That is a meal for a big family. A big family. That can get full off of. Now I brought me some five cheese bread too. But y'all, I don't know I'm gonna I'm gonna eat it. Because my, my son, my kids are gonna eat this later. Um, but me, I think I'm gonna not have the bread because I'll have the pasta with mine. So I'm gonna eat it with the pasta. But I'm excited, excited. Okay, so what else? I'm gonna um, get my milk out. So y'all, it's gonna take me a second to get the milk. Get the milk out. I got my milk. So I'll get my milk out, y'all. Cause whatever, um, for my, to get all my cheese sauce out of here, I wanna use that. Also, let me get a uh, fork, a spoon. To make sure everything is everything. I should have my spatula like I usually have. But it's okay, I guess. It's okay. Anyway, so we're going to. She didn't use all her artichokes either. No, she didn't put that in. She put this in first, so I'm going to try to do these. So one of the, um, I tried to get the Alfredo sauce with the red pepper. She has a red pepper, it was called red pepper uh, Alfredo sauce. And she was not able, I was not able to get that part and I was not happy about that, but it is what it is. Cause I wanted to taste it exactly the way she had it, but it ain't what it is. Well actually, and then not pick it, since, it, since I couldn't get exactly thing, things that I wanted, I just, um, you know, I added the sugar or whatever to it. That's the only thing different I think I added towards mine, with mine. But you know what I want to add it? 
This stuff, it will go really good with mushrooms, bell peppers. I'm also gonna color a bell peppers if you want that type of thing, but I really wanted to add that, but you know, um, my son don't like mushrooms, which is Dalvin. Zaddy Chum Chum don't like mushrooms. Let me see if I can get a spatula. I hope y'all don't see my bra and everything. It's not all good. My bra showing baby. In the back. If it is, I will. Okay. It's showing. Is it? Pull it up. Sometimes when I walk out, my stuff goes down, so now y'all see it's up now. Ooh. Look at that. So that's that one sump, shump, shump. I said one stop shop sauce. Okay. Now she requires you to use like four of these, but she didn't use, I think she used two, two large jars. Um, I'm gonna put some milk in here, y'all. Not a lot of milk, cause I don't want mine to be soupy. But add another one of these. I think this is gonna be good and easy. And I'm gonna have mozzarella, y'all. I'm gonna add mozzarella to mine. I didn't see her. She used um, Parmesan cheese at the end. She used Parmesan cheese at the end. I think I'm gonna add one more pan. Put this on first. This is the milk. And so I'm gonna pour this milk into that and then I'm gonna shake that. Now Danielle said you wanna get all that Alfredo sauce out of there. You wanna get it all. Yes, you do. So that did that. That's good. So I'm gonna shake this up. That's how you do it. Just don't want it to be too soupy. You think that's enough, y'all? I think that's enough. I want to add that other. No, I shouldn't add that other one. It's gonna thicken up, y'all. It's not that bad. It's not soupy at all. Like from what I see, it's not so. And it looks kind of a uh, pink, like a pink something because you know when you add the tomatoes now i would suggest I, I would say the tomatoes are optional so if you don't have diced tomatoes and say for instance you do have the alfredo the alfredo sauce and um you have the dang, i think i'm gonna have to use this i'm gonna use some of this because i opened it that's about it i'll put this in the container um, but um, like I was saying, yeah, so if you have it in, um, if you have this, you don't have the diced tomatoes, no worries. Just use the Alfredo sausage, a couple of Alfredo sauces and use the sausage and the um, sausages and the chicken. Oh, y'all, shout out to y'all that did that tamale pie. Y'all, when I tell y'all, that tamale pie shocked me. It was so good. I looked at y'all videos and I really enjoyed y'all videos. That tamale pie was the business. I have never ever tasted, uh, you know, a recipe like that. So it was like, it was so, so nice to have something like that. You like, wow, this is really good. And like, um, uh, what the lady said in the, what's one, what, what, I was watching somebody. And she was like, it's not for, for dinner. And she's right, it wasn't, it's not a, like a dinner type of thing that you would do. It's more like a snack, or maybe you wanna have that lunch or something like for a lunch or something. But that stuff was bomb. Then I saw people eating it with taco sauce. Some people said they add salsa to it. Um, it was, I was like, wow, salsa or maybe the, uh, having the, 
having um, the, the sour cream. I was like, yes. Okay, y'all, I'm going to add a little seasoning. Just a very little because I already seasoned the meat. I'm going to do a little seasoning salt. You can add whatever seasoning you want to this pot, but I am going to add a lot, way more pepper because I didn't add no pepper to mine. And I like having a little mm, mm, taste, you know? Don't say how that go again. How that go again? Mm, mm, taste. That part. Okay, so we got some little lemon pepper. We do have a little chicken. Kicking chicken. Who wants some kicking chicken? Uh -huh. I want that kicking chicken. Hey, that kicking chicken. What? Kicking chicken. What? We got the total up in the place in this building. Just a little bit. And we also have that adobo. What you know about that adobo? It's an all-purpose seasoning. The adobo, I know y'all say you, you use a lot of seasoning, and I'm, of course I have to add my, add my accent. That accent gotta be added. So I'm gonna put this over here so this bad boy, you bad boys can be put up. I'm gonna put that away. But, oh, thank you, baby. I have a worker right here. A nice, nice helper. Yeah, because I don't need this no more. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, yeah. So, y'all, this is the stuff, this is how my stuff is looking, see? It's creamy, it looks really, really creamy, but I think in this, it's not too soupy for me. So, you know what I'm saying? It's not too liquidy and soupy and stuff like that. So, I'm liking it. And then I'm guessing when I add the, um, I'm going to taste some of this. Actually, no. What I'm gonna do is take some stuff out because I don't want to pour it because I don't want the juice to go into it. So artichokes. Now, let me tell you something. I just now tasted artichokes for the first time in my life. Okay. I never know what an artichoke tastes like, but I was like, well, I'll be darn. They are good. And these are like pickled, like you know what I'm saying? They're really good. I tasted one. I don't know, I gotta taste my stuff before I put it, really put it in there. So she just added like, like literally the, the auto toast like this, like whole, like, and they are really good, y'all. I kid you not. So you can watch how you put them in there because your kids may be looking like, what, mommy, what is this? Or your husband probably like, babe, what you do to this? You know, so. You know what, I'm gonna add all, all of these. It's enough for you to pick them out. You know what I'm saying? If you don't want them. You can literally pick this out. If you don't want to pick it out. Actually, no, I'm not gonna add all these. Let me just do what she did. So this is what I did. It's optional, y'all, it's optional. So, like I said, you can do that or you could add the, uh, what do you call it? The, um, what I'm trying to say. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Anyways, let me get my own stuff out. I need some scissors. Oh. Yes. It's like I buy so many scissors here and I can't find none of them. I don't know where my scissors are at. Because I keep on running into this one thing of scissors. Now we want to add frozen broccoli. See that? That's gonna cool that down real quick. But you add the frozen broccoli. I think it'd be nice to have this with some bacon bits on cross it around it. That'd be good, wouldn't it? I'm too hungry. When I tend to get hungry, y'all, I tend to think of everything. You hungry, baby? Yeah, but you know I can't. You can eat this, just eat a little, eat a, eat a small plate with me. On the video. Y'all want my husband to join me? I'll get him a little blue bitty bowl. A taste of a bowl. He's trying to slim slow. I'm trying to lose weight. Is you losing weight? He's been doing good, y'all. Y'all see? Y'all see? Yeah, the holiday. You know, I y'all see him, I told him. I said everybody gonna have that holiday weight. It's the worst thing. The worst time to go on a diet. Y'all, the worst time to go on a diet is 
around holidays. That is the worst time, especially when holidays or New Year's. New Year's Day is when you should start your stuff, okay? Okay. Okay, y'all. So I think I'm done with the sauce mixture. I'm a, um, it looks good. It smells good. Okay, Danielle. Hey, hey, Danielle. Thank you, Danielle. I appreciate you. I'm looking at some of y'all other stuff too, y'all. I'm, I'm looking at it. I promise you, I'm gonna get to it. But I love trying this. This is fun to me. So much fun. Because you get to taste new things. Now see, with y'all with these pasta, I think y'all trying to fatten me up. I think y'all trying to get me. Because this will get you, for sure. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is have my cheese on the side. So I'm gonna get the cheese. I hope I ain't putting none on my plate. My hand's just cold. Anyways, um, So what I'm gonna do is put the noodles in. Oh shoot, my stuff is boiling like crazy. Put a big hat, them noodles in. Now I'm not gonna, um, now see y'all, I like to, when I'm doing my noodles, I like to put like half of the noodles in there. I don't wanna put all of them in it because my, my children gonna eat later. And what I usually typically do is I probably boil them a new set of noodles. Cause I don't want them to get all soggy. Favorite, you think you gonna eat with me? I know. You think I know what I'm saying? You think I know what I'm saying? You want me to order it for you? Huh? They literally show you, if they, if they have it on order, man, if, if it's there, they can get it for you. You know, and they'll tell you exactly what they have to stop. You know, y'all can do all of them. The, the Alfredo, the Alfredo ones ain't a lot. It ain't, it ain't a lot like the, uh, like the spaghetti ones. So I'm gonna use all of that. And y'all, this was an easy meal. I'm not gonna do the, 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 the uh, I bought some Texas, like I said, some Texas toast, but I'm not gonna do that. So y'all see how that's turning out? I don't want to taste this so bad, but I can't. I ain't tasting it, y'all. <laughs> My stomach is growling, y'all. For real, for real. So, put that on there like that. I'm going to wait to bring that to a boil, and then I will be right back to a two. Hello for you. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I am back, back, back. So, here's my Alfredo. I'm, I already, the noodles are done. The noodles are done, y'all. So, I'm gonna put some noodles in this place. I'm not gonna do a lot. Should have drained these, but that's okay. This is good. Um, you can drain your noodles, y'all. Drain them in the um, drainer. I didn't do mine like that. I just kept them hot because I wanted them real, really hot. And so I am going to plate some of this over here on top like that. Now, if you want a lot of sauce, of course, you get you a little scooper. But me. I'm gonna do that because I know that's enough. You see how I'm plating that, y'all? Mmm. I had to use a black plate because my husband said that white on white, and I had to give me some more plate sets, y'all. This is a plate set that I had got when we, my, me and my husband first got married. Yes, I still have it. We got this from the Dollar Store, Dollar Tree, Dollar General. Which one on stores at? Oh, I'm going to do that. But anyway. Anyways, this is it, y'all. Oh, let me put some cheese on it. I'm not supposed to lick that like that. But 
And it is what it is. I didn't taste the finish all of it together, y'all. My husband's gonna eat with me. Ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, wee, ooh, wee. I'm gonna put this to the side. But I'm going to put this right here. And I want the cheese to be involved. So I'm gonna use the mozzarella. Mozzarella. <laughs> so. I'm trying to get it out of there like this. So I know. Once it gets um, hot, when you when you mix it in, it's gonna be ooh, it's gonna be better. Okay, it's gonna be cheesier. I was gonna put it inside the sauce, but it could it, it would have melted. But I wanted it to have that fresh, more fresh experience. So y'all, here we go. Here we go. So this how it should look. I'm sure that that cheese is gonna melt. Anyways, you can use this or you can use what Danielle used. She used uh, Parmesan cheese. So it was whatever. Look, I'm trying not to make it fall. Ooh, don't wanna make a mess, y'all, cause I'm not doing, I'm not editing that too much out this video. So y'all, this is the pasta. I guess it's gonna be my thumbnail. Hopefully you can see the green. And it, it probably looks sloppy, but hey, y'all. Yeah, what it is. I'm ready to eat. That's all I know. That's my thumbnail. But anyways, thank you so much for tuning in and seeing what I made today. I was happy with that. So, I'll be back um, um, with the taste test, of course, and some more videos. Cooking videos, of course that I can do some easy cooking videos that are delicious. Y'all wanna share with me. If you have a YouTube channel, I will shout you out. Thank you again, Danielle, with, uh, what I said, Days of Danny. Thank you so much for this recipe. I really appreciate it, you guys. Go check her channel out. She does cooking videos, so I'm thinking that you will really, really enjoy If I enjoy this like I know I am gonna enjoy it, I'm sure she has some, um, a more treats over there. So, I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. Love you. Love you. Yeah, yeah. Bye. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.